before the attack, we all thought our money would be safe at the OCP bank. I have pertinent bank. information regarding yeah. the case. Glad we got Murphy on we'll get team. to that, Murphy. But right now, it's time for your psych evaluation. Becker will chew my ear off if I don't make sure you take part in it. So go. Dr. Blanche is already waiting in the observation room. Once it's over, join us in the briefing room. What's the big idea? Piece of junk taser blew the fuse when I tried to charge it. <laughs> Robocop, is that you? I can't see anything. I am standing in front of you, Officer O'Neill. Is there a problem? Oh, CP skimps on everything when it comes to the police. Fired our maintenance guy to reduce their costs, so now we are literally in the dark. We need to get the power back on. I am equipped to deal with such situations. Follow the cables. They should take you to the fuse box. Detroit shining beacon of hope. Thanks for the help, Murphy. So we're I'm ready for you, Robo. Build a brand new city. I'm afraid not. All right, like let's see what's cooking under the hood. God knows what Once I'm done, he's all yours, Doctor. Hey, what's that look supposed to mean? Hello, Murphy. Congratulations. I've seen your accomplishment on TV. I hope that I'll manage to remain professional despite sitting opposite a celebrity. How do you feel about being acclaimed as a hero again? I serve the public trust. I do not do it for fame. No. Your sense of duty is what drives you, that's clear. I'm sure you'd love to share this accomplishment with Anne Lewis. You've seen her at the hospital, haven't you? How is she? She is stable. You cherish that relationship, don't you? She's an important part of your life. Your past life, too. She is. Just like your family. You're very protective of your past. OCP cut me off from my family. And how do you view their decision to separate you from them? They would not want to see me like this. Perhaps not. But the alternative isn't much better. Nevertheless, you still think about them, don't you? What comes to mind when you try to remember your family? I see. Memories can be painful. Especially when they're connected to the ones you love. They tend to remind us of what we're missing. The thief that broke into my house I mentioned before. He was my brother. He was an addict, 
who'd come over to steal things to sell so he could buy drugs. As you can imagine, my last memory of us together is not a happy one. But despite that, I still wouldn't want to lose it. It serves as a reminder of how I failed him. And I've been trying to rectify it ever since. I do not remember my family. I can only feel them. These feelings, how do they manifest themselves? as echoes of the past. But OCP sees them as obstacles that need to be removed. And now you're afraid that they sent me here to convince you they are right? Did they? What you need to understand is that regardless of outside influences, my client's well-being takes highest priority. Especially now that I understand how important these memories are to you, I will fight for you in every way I know how. If you let me. I think this is a good place to end this session. Thank you for your honesty. It certainly has been noted. I've got plenty to think about for now. Yeah, just keep following the road. But the road ends here. <laughs> what was that? Uh oh, you're breaking up. <laughs> Am I? I'm, I'm hearing you clearly. <laughs> oh my god, what a lemon. You two seem to be enjoying yourselves. I'm just having a little fun with our fellow dispatcher. Don't worry, I'm sure the kid has a sense of humor. It's just a little blue hazing. And he's an OCP stooge anyway. You're not going soft on us, are you, Murphy? That did not sound like fun. It's not like he didn't deserve it. You know that he runs to Becker with a stack of papers every time you two talk, right? He's a rat. We're just looking out for you, Murphy. All right. The situation at the bank was contained in a relatively smooth fashion. So what did we learn from it? When it's their money on the line, OCP will send RoboCop, the entire SWAT team, and a bunch of Ed 209s that actually work. Anything else? Wendell Antonowski no longer deals with the street vultures. That's right. There's been a rift in their midst and I want to know why. Spike has proven to be talkative under suitable conditions. That's why I want you all to head to the city and do some actual police work. We need to find Spike. The attack on OCP Bank was a desperate move. I'm sure there's plenty of theories floating around. So we need to listen to what the streets are saying to find where the vultures are hiding. I know someone versed in street talk. Talk to him. And oh, I almost forgot. Murphy, once you're downtown, the old man wants to meet with you. Oh, the old man himself? <laughs> what an honor. Yeah, he's the closest Detroit has to real life royalty. Maybe for saving him all that money, he'll knight you or something. Enough. Head downtown, ask around, and most importantly, find Spike. Robocop! Over here! You wouldn't want to make the mayor of Detroit wait, would you? May I help you, Mr. Mayor? Oh, it's me who's gonna do the helping. 
You know John Mills, I presume. The OCP puppet who's gunning for my seat as mayor. I've heard from a reliable source that he's planning to make you the highlight of his election bid. Judging by your expressive face, he hasn't talked to you about it yet, huh? That's what I figured. What a slimy bastard. Using your image to influence the good people of this city, and without your consent? That's clearly something that I would never do. But, you know that I've always appreciated what you're doing for our city, right? So, the real question is, what are we going to do about it together? I would like to hear his arguments. Just be careful. He's a snake oil salesman that will say whatever it takes to gain your support. I need to go. Campaign season is busy, but let me leave you with one word of advice. Whatever you do, make it clear that you are not siding with meals. You can be sure that they'll twist your every word and use it against you. That's what OCP does. Thanks for the talk, Robocop. Say no to Delta City. Vote for the neighborhoods. Vote for Kuzak. Robocop is getting a face to face with the old man himself. Hey, I'd tell shiny. Him all about how the OCP Got a job for you. Us over. No, you, wouldn't. you wouldn't how are you feeling after the incident at the bank? Why? Who gives a shit? I heard that you're heading to the city. Once you're out there, I want you to check one apartment for me. There's suspicion of domestic terrorism and corporate espionage, so expect a warm welcome. Should I assume hostility from the suspect? I assume you'll find sensitive data there. Look for it thoroughly and make sure it comes straight back to my hands. Tenement across the street from the arcade, apartment 12. Now go, I've got to prepare for a meeting. And remember, if you won't take care of it, another cop will have to. Another cop that isn't quite as resistant to deadly surprises as you are. Hey you, the old man is waiting for you upstairs. This entrance to the building is off limits. You have to use the staircase. Hey, hold his weight. Doesn't matter. The old man's waiting. So, it's true what they say. You do have some kind of defect. It's good to see you, my boy. Leave us. I want to talk to him in private. You have to excuse me for not getting up. I'm in a rather unfortunate state. You did exceptional work at the bank. I want you to know that I am deeply grateful for your service to OCP and the city of Detroit. See? I grew up in this very apartment, or what's left of it. It used to be a thriving neighborhood, nothing like what you see right now. I always dreamt of turning it into the most prosperous district in the city. 
a new heart of Detroit. Can you imagine? Or do you think it's just an old fool's pipe dream? I agree with all city improvement plans that have the citizens' well-being in mind. Glad to know you approve. Delta City's construction is about to start. Finally, the old and frail will be replaced with the new and strong. Decay and death are terrible things. You lose everything you worked for your entire life. But I don't have to tell you what that's like. It really makes me wonder, has the time you spent in that armor been a burden to you? You cannot complain about the life that was granted to you. That's very humble of you. The real reason I've summoned you here is because I'm worried. I'm aware of your instability problems. And it's not a matter that we can overlook. That's why I've requested to have people look after you. Tell me, how are you finding your evaluations with Dr. Blanche? It helps me with perspective, but it also brings out things buried. That's part of the recovery process. I can imagine it's not a pleasant experience, but I can't express how much I'd like you to keep at it. I'm sure that becoming a liability is the last thing you'd want. Am I right? That is correct. Now we've reached an understanding. Tell me. Is there anything I could do to put your mind at ease? My partner has been severely wounded and is being treated at Gibson Memorial Hospital. I'll make sure she gets the best care there is. Thank you. I have to say, you brought a lot of hope into this old man's heart. Now, excuse me. I'm not supposed to exert myself too much. <laughs> Doctor's orders. And you can't argue with them. Take care of yourself. After all, the peace of Detroit depends on your well-being. Holy shit! What was that? Robocop. Not such a piece of junk after all. Smoking is dangerous, not to mention illegal. I don't give a shit about either. Then you must suffer the consequences. Eh, no one in this country values independent thinkers anymore.
Back to your room, sweetheart. It's just someone on the staircase. So OCP is ordering you to break into the apartment of a reporter they don't like? Any comment before I write a story on that? I am here to investigate domestic terrorism. OCP sent you to my safe house because they want to know what I have on them after the bank incident. I assume there is more if you cannot store everything here. I found a rental bill for a locker in a storage facility. You metal-headed fuck! First you botched my investigation at the bank, and now that I dug up the data from another source, you show up again? Do you want to help OCP avoid liability? Does a well-intentioned criminal stop being a criminal? <sighs> You're in a philosophical mood. Adorable. It turns out I was right. That thing that OCP plans to do with charging residents of old Detroit with additional costs? It is a loophole. It will lead to the illegal expulsion of thousands of people if you help OCP silence me. Explain. Not so fast. I need to be able to trust you first. Especially after what you did at the bank. You showed that you are just OCP's tool. What is it that you expect? Since you're here, I fully expect someone from OCP to go and check my locker. I need to protect what's inside. But there's a meeting I need to keep an eye on. Too much depends on it. I will not be involved in the smuggling of contraband. There's nothing illegal about my request. I need only one box from there. The one with the inscription, Bakery on the Corner. The rest you can leave to OCP to pick up. I need to just spring clean my out-of-date documents anyway. Call me once you secure the box. Otherwise, burn in hell, OCP minion.
City Hall is the decaying symbol of Mr. Is some idiot confuse the courthouse with the bank again? No. I heard one of the accused decided to defend himself, but I think he took things too literally. I'm sure I'm in the right place, but I can't see my FTO anywhere. Could I have his name, please? Over. Sure thing. It's Officer Rat. He should be in one of the dumpsters. That's the only place he belongs, if you catch my drift. Over and out. Right. So much for my field training. Officer Washington, I will be your field trainer for today. Requesting readiness confirmation. Yeah, thanks for the offer, but maybe the others are right. I might not really be cut out for field work. Ask yourself, do I have the will to clean the streets of Detroit of unrighteous individuals? Yeah. As a matter of fact, I do. Officer Washington reporting for field training. Good, you have your body armor on. Well done. What about the rest of your gear? Service pistol? Got it. Spare ammunition? Check. Duty light? Never part with it. Good job. Preparation is the most important. So is knowing your surroundings. Are you familiar with this area? Isn't this the part of the city where it gets really busy like all the time? Police! I think that answers my question. Please, I need your help. Set the radio to my channel and follow me. Roger that! An officer needs to be confident. Straight back, sturdy walk, together with a clear and unshaking voice. Officers, thank God you're here. I really need your help. What happened is... When responding to a request for aid, the first thing is to introduce yourself to the potential victim. Watch and learn. I am Officer Murphy. How do you do, madam? Well, to tell you the truth... The second thing is to reassure the victim of their safety. Madam, you do not need to be afraid anymore. We are here to help you. Yes, but it's not about me. The third thing is... I'm quite familiar with the field training manual, so if you don't mind, I'll take over. Ma'am, could you please tell us what happened? It's my cat, Fortune. He's missing. Fortune is my biggest treasure. I can't lose him. Do you have any idea where he might be? The only place I can think of is the basement. I've also heard some ruckus coming from downstairs today, but the lights aren't working, and my eyesight's not so good anymore. Is it okay for us to investigate the basement? Yes, it makes an excellent opportunity for low-light training. Let us proceed downstairs. Good luck down there. The cat has that name for a reason. He really brings Turn fortune. Turn your flashlight so on. So don't you come back without... Right. Duty light can be advantageous, but it can also be a liability. Keeping it close to you creates a clear target for the violators. It is good practice to hold the duty light away from your body. I don't remember reading that in the field manual. Did you get it from a different book? No, from experience. Clear. Clear. Hey, I think I just saw the cat. You think I should try to remove these planks? Stand aside. Wrong, ain't you? Let us get back on track. Sure thing. What was that?
Ah, oh, man, I walked into a mess. And now my shoes are covered in strawberry jam. When chasing a suspect, do not rush head first. Take blind corners as wide as possible. Cuts down on being surprised. The fugitive has left a trail. This time, pace yourself. Do not get out of breath during a foot pursuit. You will need stamina to engage the fugitive later. Oh, looks like he stopped by the spill paint can. Suspect might be intoxicated. I used to know these kids who gave their cat stomach medicine to make it loopy. Is there a moral to that story? Cats are susceptible to substance misuse. Shh! I heard something. I think it's coming from the piano. That cat must be hiding inside. Let me lure it out. Go ahead. There it is! It's escaping! Darn it! It went through here, but that's a very narrow passage. Let's try the door. It's locked, but I can try to squeeze through that gap. Step aside. This time it's a one-way street, Mr. Cat. But where are you hiding? There he is. Oh, gosh, Fortune. You look a mess. You think he's all right? The cat is fine. You can take it back to its owner. I will clean up any remaining mess. Okay, see you soon. Washington, do you read me? Loud and clear, what is your status? We got a problem. I'm on the second floor and have a visual on multiple armed suspects entering our location. Most of them are heading your way, but I can hear some coming up the stairs. Do not engage yet. Take your time you and find the most dangerous location. <laughs> Officer Washington, oh, sir. keep cool. I am coming up to have you. I'm glad to hear that, sir.
don't think I can hold him off for much longer, sir. Ah! What is your status? I'm hit. Remain calm. I am here. I need a breather. Officer Washington, your performance today was impressive. Thank you, sir. It means a lot coming from you. You will be fine. It is only a superficial wound. See? I've told you that cat brings luck. Isn't this just wonderful?